We have in the right as the green Protoss, representing Team Techno Vikings, GL Richie, his partner, Pro Clan, AI Pro Clan as the blue Terran. And in the left, we have the pink Zerg Hack Protech and his partner, the red Protoss Power, representing Team Protech. Let me get those colors arranged here. And we are seeing a probe. Yeah, but this is that same timing as last game, so I think he's just going to want to pop in here. And he's actually sending out a second probe as well. Look at this, he's actually going to build on the low ground here. Both of these guys are going to build on the low ground here, so this is that uh, kind of wall-off we mentioned. Now, this can, you know, this can be a little bit tricky to pull off, but uh, I do like it. It really, you know, f it, it's certainly if you pull the wall off down, then you've got your easy natural... And uh, you would certainly get something that uh, certainly more resembles a macro game, but uh, we actually have a very early pool coming out here from ProTech. He's actually only on six drones, which uh, would make that a six pool, would it not? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would think so. Uh, if there's six drones, you'd, it would be a seven pool because one of them was used for yeah. that spawning pool. Uh, he might have produced one. I, I was busy changing the colors at the time. But outcome, six slings, six pool, and seven pool going to be pretty much the same as... As far as when the lings come, you know, six pull will be slightly faster, but uh, who's keeping track? And now this low ground wall off, I mean, he went for a forge, but are they going to be able to close this wall off fast enough before these lings get across the map? There's the forge finishing, we'll see a cannon come up uh, very shortly. But are they going to be able to uh, close this wall off? Now, this is the thing, the pylon, actually not part of a wall, so they're going to need more buildings to actually be able to close this off. Yeah, it looks like they'll need two more. They might choose to uh, block it with a probe just to try to stall for another one. And is there a... There we go. Now it's a tight hole. That extra barracks does seal the deal. And these lings are going to do absolutely nothing. Richie and ProClan have to be feeling pretty good about themselves right now because they have just stopped a, uh, a six pool. And they they have to know the Zerk is going to be very far behind on uh, economy right now. If you check out Harvesters, he's had six Harvesters compared to 13, 16, and 15. The cannon does go down, so there's a bit of value there, but uh, with only two Zerglings, it's going to be very difficult. This first Marine is going to pop out. These Lings will be, will be a little bit annoying, but uh, that's kind of the end of the rush. So, yeah, like you were saying, not a lot of drones right now, and with this, you know, very fortified wall-off, I already got a bunker going here. They're just going to be able to basically make a command center in a Nexus and uh, do whatever they want. Yep, they're off to a good start to try to even the score at one apiece. Uh, the Harvest Count now 11 for uh, Protex, so he's doing a good job of just droning up, but they're going to be very vulnerable to some kind of timing attack, you know, around like 8 minutes or so, uh, depending on if Richie and ProClan want to expand or attack. I, I think I, if I was in their shoes, I would just play it safe and probably just take an expansion, keep that wall up going, and just uh, win with Superior Macro. Yes, yeah, interesting. Uh, AI Pro Clan has actually taken his both his gases here, so he is looking to tech up. He's actually throwing out a factory, so I'm really curious what uh, his plan is here. Last time we saw him just kind of go right for tanks. Uh, I'm thinking he's going to do something similar, just get out tanks, be super safe, and then expand, but uh, they could certainly follow up with the timing attack, and look at that, another bunker is actually going down. Well, these guys are just trying to play so, so safe, and power... It's actually throwing down uh, gateway number four and five here. Yep, in the corner of his base, number four and five. Now, I've never uh, seen a five gate. Is it? Is, is that smart? I mean, can <laughs> you fund a five gate? Maybe if your partner's feeding, me, feeding you? I don't know. That's a good point. I would imagine you'd have to be feeding him. I mean, the five gate generally comes when you're doing like a nexus cancel or something, so you're cutting a bit of units, and then you kind of have a big burst of, of money you want to spend fast. This is kind of, it's obviously a little bit suboptimal in terms of getting the most units at a certain amount of time, but if he is getting fed, it could do the trick. And look at this, the stalkers actually, they're basically going to be able to, you know, get, get some free kills. Of course, they've got one less range than a cannon and equal range to marines in a bunker. And uh, Siege Boat is on the way, though, as well as the Siege Tank, though. Yeah, and that is one insane wall, man. It's going to take a long time to bust through. He's Actually, he's got four more Stalkers, nine Stalkers total. He is microing back the weak Stalkers. One of them might go down. No, it does survive. This guy just wants to finish off that cannon. He is a glory hog, and he does just that. Uh, still, this bunker not able to uh, range down these Stalkers, so it looks like a Gateway, Supply Depot, and maybe even a Forge uh, are going to go down in just a short moment here. 
Yeah, it's really being very effective here with this 5 gate and the Zerg player with both both his gas geysers up and the only thing he could be doing is just straight up feeding. You can see he's actually got Larva just kind of building up because he, I mean, he's, he's sending all his money to his opponents and uh, this is pretty solid but his siege mode finishes, I think uh, that's going to be about it unless he just kind of wants to bum rush that tank and then take the damage, uh, which would also make sense. Yeah, I think Power really needs to go for that cannon right now. He has a Dark Shrine on the way. If he can eliminate that cannon at uh, the front of the wall, he might be able to uh, get past and, and at least do something. Look at uh, our green Protoss' base there. Oh. Looks like a whole bunch of Zealots got into the main. Uh, look at that, actually. There's a pylon what? that an Overlord was spotting there. And that's GG right there. Oh wow. my gosh, that was crazy. Overlords at each side. Warping in five zealots in each person's base, that was just a bit too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Um, it just goes to show the importance of having your base scouted. Uh, 